Hey y'all, in today's video, we're gonna talk about React's Use Optimistic. Now, this hook allows us to instantly update the UI when some state changes without having to wait for an async action to be complete. And to further explain what I mean by this and also demonstrate how to implement Use Optimistic into a Next.js project, I'm gonna be using a book inventory app that I recently created, and I will link the repo to that down in the description below. So if you wanna clone it and follow along, feel free to. Okay, here I've got the app running locally, and this app basically just fetches a ton of books from Postgres database, and we can filter these books based on author. So this is a URL driven filter, which means that the URL search parameters act as our source of truth. When I click these checkboxes, you'll notice that both the URL and the books update, but there is a noticeable delay in the UI. So you can see that the check state UI, as well as the list of selected authors down here kind of lag. And this is because both routing and data fetching are managed by the server. So every time you interact with the UI, like checking one of these boxes, the request has to travel from your browser to the server. The server has to process the request and it filters the data based on the receipt parameters and then sends it back to your browser. So this like round trip communication between the client and the server is what causes the delay making the UI updates lag. Let's learn how to use the use optimistic hook to solve this problem. This hook lets us instantly update what we see on the screen by mixing quick temporary changes made by us with the slower permanent data from the server. So it's perfect when you need the app to react faster clicks, but still keep everything correct according to the server data. So let's open our code and take a look at how we're currently filtering. So in the filter panel, you'll see that our component accepts two props selected authors and all authors. If we move into the page that uses this component, all authors is exactly what it sounds like. It's just fetching all the authors from our database and selected authors is derived from the URL search parameters. So if there's no author parameter, selected authors is gonna be an empty array, but if the URL does contain author parameters, then selected authors is gonna be an array of those authors. So our filter panel will always reflect the author selected based on the URL. So now that we get how the component currently works, let's modify it to use use optimistic. So first we need to import use optimistic and then initiate it with our selected author state like this. Now we need to integrate set optimistic authors wherever we're updating the URL. So in these buttons on click handlers where we update the authors, we're also gonna update our optimistic state, passing in the new authors like this. Similarly down here for the clear button, we want to reset our authors. So we'll instead pass in an empty array this time like this. And then finally, anywhere where we're currently using our selected author's value, we're gonna swap it out to use our optimistic author's value instead. And that is it. By making these changes, our component is gonna optimistically update the UI to reflect changes immediately when a user interacts with it. So now if we go back to the browser and test it out, we see that our UI updates immediately without any lag, thanks to using use optimistic. So as I already mentioned, the repo to this project is linked in the description below, so check that out if you want to. And if you wanna dive even deeper into this topic, or if you just prefer written content, I'm going to link an amazing blog post written by Sam from the Build UI team. It goes deeper into this topic and it's an amazing blog post, so I recommend checking that out. Otherwise, thanks for watching, bye.